Hello, my name's Sarah and I'm from Little Angel Theatre and I'm going to show you how to make this hatching Easter chick craft and the way it works is you've got the egg and you crack it open and inside you have a really cute little chick and you can use this as an Easter gift or an Easter card if you want to um, or you can just make it for fun. So I'm going to show you now what you need to do to make this little hatching chick. So what you need are some two paper plates if you have them. If you don't have them you can draw around a plate onto some thin card like a cereal box something like that. You need some paper, coloured paper if you've got it, but if you haven't, you can use white paper and you can colour it in. Um, I've got some googly eyes here, which I use, but you don't need to. You could just use white and black paper. Other things you'll need are scissors, glue, pens and pencils, and a hole punch and a split pin. I haven't got a split pin, so I've used either paper clips or pipe cleaner, and I'm gonna show you how to do that later on. So those are all the things that you need. Oh, one final thing, some paint. Now, again, if you haven't got paint, you could just use felt pens, or you could color using tissue paper or ripped up pages of a magazine. Right, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your paper plates or your card that you've cut out um, by drawing round a plate and you're going to colour them. The outside of them, so not the bit that you eat off if it's a plate, but the other side, you're going to colour them. Now I'm using paint because it's nice and quick to cover the whole thing and you'll need to do both of them. But as I said before, if you don't want to use paint or you haven't got paint, you could use tissue paper stuck on, you could use pages of a magazine stuck on, you could even use felt pens, but you'll be colouring quite a long time if you use felt pens. So paint is really better if you can. When you've painted the outside of both of your plates, you will need to leave them to dry before you carry on. But that's okay because while they're drying, you can get on with making your little chick. One more thing you might want to add as well is to make it look a bit more eggy, you can add some little speckles because eggs sometimes have little speckles on them. So that's my plates painted. Remember, you need to do both of them. So you will have two finished like this and you're gonna leave them to dry and we'll come back to those in a minute. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our little chick to go inside the egg. Now, all I've done is I've found some yellow paper and I've cut it out into an oval shape like this. And that's going to be the body of my chick. And then I need to add eyes and a beak. And I'm also gonna add some wings and a little tuft of fluff on the top. So for the beak, I found some orange card. And again, don't worry if you haven't got orange because you can use white and you can color it in. And I folded it in half. And then where the folded bit is, I'm gonna cut a triangle shape so that when I unfold it, I've got a beak. So I didn't cut along the folded bit. I've got a beak like that. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue onto one side of the beak only. And I'm going to stick it onto my chick so that it's got a beak 
that can open and close. Then I need to make my chick some eyes. So I've cut out two circles of white paper and I had some googly eyes. So I have used my googly eyes for the middle bit of the chick's eyes. But don't worry if you haven't got googly eyes, you can just cut out a little bit of black paper or white paper and colour it in black to make the middle bit of the eyes. So that's basically my chick. What I also did though was to make some little wings for it and I cut out a wing shape and then to make it look even more realistic I'm cutting some little slits along the edge to make it look feathery and if you bend and ruffle those little bits that you've cut to make it more 3D it looks really feathery. If you've got some crafting feathers at home then you could use those as well. I didn't have any so that's why I thought I would make my own feathers using the leftover paper from when I made the chick. So there, I've stuck his wings on and then I made with another little bit of leftover paper, I just made a little tufty bit and again, I've done some snipping at the top to give it a 3D effect and if you ruffle those up. So now he's got a little tuft on the top of his head and that is the chick finished. Now if you want to write a message inside your um, egg the best way to do it is to cut out some paper and the way I did this was I got another paper plate and I drew around the shape of the edge of the paper plate onto this green paper and then I cut it into um, like a rainbow shape and then I wrote my message on and it's better to write the message on before you stick it onto the plate because underneath it's quite knobbly and it'll be hard to write if you're writing on top of the knobbly bit. So I've made my message strip, which I'm going to stick onto the inside of my egg when it's done. So you've made your chick, you've made your message if you want to make a message. So not what we're going to do now is we're going to put it all together to make the finished egg. So hopefully by now your paper plates would have dried and they'll be ready to use if you painted them. So you're going to turn them over. Now you can see on the inside of mine some of the paint has leaked a little bit onto the inside. So what you could do is you could do a little bit more painting to tidy that up or you could just leave it like that, it's up to you. So one of the plates is going to be the front of the egg and the other plate is going to be the back. So you have them like that so that the um, coloured sides are showing on the outside. And what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the plates only, just one of them, and you are going to cut the cracked egg shape all along. So it's about halfway across. You're going to do some zigzag cutting up and down triangles like that to make the cracked shell of the egg. There we go, so I've cut that in half and only do that with one of them, don't forget. The other one, you're gonna turn it over so that you can see the inside and you're gonna pop some glue around just one side of it. And you're going to stick half of your shell, your broken shell, onto it like that. So you've got half of the egg shell stuck on. Then you can get your chick and you can pop some glue on the back of your chick. Try not to squash its little beak. And then you can glue your chick inside the egg. So slot it in so that it's just peeping up over the top like that. And I didn't put any glue on the wings or on the tufty bit because I quite like it 
that they can flap around and makes it look more effective and more 3D. So now we've got our little chick sitting neatly inside his egg. And I'm also now going to put some glue on the top here so that I can put my message around it, just around the edge. So I'm going to stick my message on and I'm going to be careful that I don't stick it over the top of the chick. Don't want to squash him to make sure his wings are over the top. There we go. Press it down and the egg is over the top there. So I've got my message and I've written Happy Easter on this one as well. So that's ready. So we're nearly finished. We're just onto the final bit now where we're going to reattach the top part of the egg so that it can open and close. Now, if you've got a split pin, one of those little pins, metal pins that open up, you can use those. They're brilliant. I didn't have one, so I had to get inventive with what I was going to do. So I thought of two ways that things you could use instead of a split pin. You could use a paper clip or you could use some pipe cleaner, depending on what you've got. So what you're going to do is you're going to line up the egg so that it matches the top of the egg so that it's sitting neatly where you've cut it. And you're going to get your hole punch. Now this is easier than trying to stab a hole inside. So on one of the corners, you're going to make a hole with your hole punch. There you go, like that. Now, I'll show you how to do it with the pipe cleaner, but you can do the same thing with a paper clip if you just unfold the paper clip so that you've got a strip of wire. So you're gonna fold it in half, same with if you're using a paper clip, and you're gonna pop it through the hole that you've just made with the hole punch. Now, don't push it all the way through. You're gonna leave a bit at the top and you're gonna fold it back and twist it round so that it can't go through the hole anymore. It's too big to fit through the hole. And then you're gonna flip it over and on the other side, you can twist the bits on the back and press them down nice and hard as well, like that. And as I say, you can do exactly the same thing with an unfolded paper clip if you want to, if you haven't got any um, pipe cleaner. So now, you've made a little joint there that means that your egg can open and close. Now I can see here, I've got a bit of trouble. Mine keeps getting caught on here, which all I have to do to stop that happening is glue it down a bit better because it wasn't stuck down very well. So now it should, there we go, open and close with your message. And what you could also do if you want to use this as a card is on the back of the egg, you could write a message there, stick a piece of paper onto it and write a nice message to whoever you want to give this to as a lovely little Easter gift. Thank you for watching and have fun making your Easter chicks.